Hello guys, hi, welcome, welcome back to my channel, Hacks in Your Hands. So guys, in this video, we will be looking how to deploy Node.js application into the GCP, GCP Google Cloud Platform's Cloud Run service. Uh, so I will just tell you in the few steps like what we are actually going to do. Uh, we'll build some Node.js application simply like Hello World or something. Like I send the request and I get the request. Uh, I will build the container uh i mean docker image not container but just docker image and uh, we will put this docker image into gcp's artifact registry uh so like we will build node.js application we will build docker image we will put this application put this image into the gcp artifact registry and finally we will run this image into cloud run so what is cloud run so cloud run is a serverless a google cloud platform serverless uh, service like you can deploy any application uh, using container image and you don't need any service uh, servers you can simply google it like uh, if you simply google like cloud run so they say like develop any uh, develop and deploy any highly scalable containerized application in your language like go python java node.js so today we will be looking into uh, javascript node.js okay so uh, first step we will build the node.js application simple node.js application uh, so i have kept uh, created one folder video test uh, and i will just open visual studio code by writing the command command code dot okay i will just close this files okay uh so how we will build the uh not this application by writing the command npm init hyphen y okay so we can see the packet.json file here i will create one file called index.js okay now simply i will install uh express okay and I will just include the start script into my uh, packet.json like it would be node index.js. Cool. Now I will just write a few lines like how to install, uh, how to uh, start the node.js application. I mean, I'm just trying to create one server quickly. I'm defining port uh, something like 8080 or 8084 anything I mean you can put any number uh, I'm also putting process dot env dot port because we don't know what would be the environment port when we will deploy on to the cloud run that is there is this is very important like okay so now we will write like if it's running properly or not uh, port like uh, we'll just log it like uh, app is running something like that okay we'll just taste this uh, we have built the index.js file and packet.json is also ready we'll simply do npm start we can see the app is running and uh, everything is working like let's just uh, do simple get request like app.get uh, I will put the port request response and I will send like response.sign. I'm sorry, it's not port. It could be like this. Okay. Response.sign. Hello. Sir. Okay. Uh, let's just rename, rerun this application and uh, let's check with the port 8084 if it's running or not on the local host. Yes, so it's working fine. I will make some another get API like slash test something like this. Uh, 
again and I'm sending like this is a test get API okay let's just check whether it is working fine or not 8084 slash test okay perfect so our node.js application is ready now we will make the docker file just to containerize this node.js application and if we want to know more about this like how to make a docker file just watch my docker uh, containerized video uh, i will put the link in the description uh, okay so this is my docker file uh, i am making into alpine because i don't want my image very large i want small lightweight image so putting node alpine and rest of the thing like i want this is as my work directory i will copy all the contents uh, package the star into uh, the current directory i will do npm install copy all the mod uh, things uh, and docker ignore i will just put node modules okay uh, so and i will just expose the port 8084 as of now so simply uh, the things are ready now i will just build the docker image uh, okay so docker build hyphen t i will put the name like youtube uh, youtube test something like this and dot yt test dot cool so it's building the docker image and uh, now we will follow the now what we are trying to do our this step is completed like we have built the doc node.js we have built the node.js uh, docker image also now we will put this into our gcp artifact registry so what it is what is gcp artifact registry uh it's like the private uh private hub like you can put your images here you can push your images here and uh, first let's just this is how the GC artifact registry looks like i will create one repository this is some older repository i've created previously i'm putting name like test and uh, the format would be docker uh, you can put location type like region multi-region whatever you choose if you want to uh, i'm keeping the region us east one and uh, that's it let's just create the repository uh, so our repository is ready now what i wanted to do i want to push this uh, docker image which we have built right i will show you docker images okay here it is yt test okay about a minute ago it's you can see the size it's just 178 mb because of the alpine node alpine image okay uh so we will push this uh docker image into artifact registry so th this is really important part and for this you have to do lots of uh some groundwork like just follow this documentation i will put put this uh link into the description and there is no other, any other way like you have to follow this gcp uh documentation and uh like give the access like give the writer access install the uh, cloud cli in your computer i i've already done it so uh, i i won't do it i mean you can just simply follow each and everything they have shown you everything like what things you require okay uh just try google also authenticate yeah authenticate with your local machine to g cloud uh, account okay so i will just authenticate and this is my location like if you see i'm just copying this to somewhere else okay you can see my location is us east one and i'm just trying to authenticate if your location is something else like north america blah 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 so you just put this here and uh, just copy and paste here so it will check yeah so g cloud credentials are already registered correctly so we are good to go now i will just uh tag this image my image uh with that naming convention so what that what are the naming convention location project id repository 
okay so uh, what is my image name that is yt test okay so i will put it here source image what's my location that's uh, we have just copied us east one so us east one what's my project id that is, this is my project id okay we we have just copied this thing uh, from here like while after creating the repository i have copied that data from here uh repository that is test and image i will put the image name like uh something like youtube test something like this okay no need of tag uh i will just copy and paste copy paste okay that's it. we don't need this tag thing okay okay so docker tag this is done now let's just check whether it is updated or not cool so you can see this youtube test thing our name is updated now simply we have to just push it to uh, here on the artifact registry so i will just copy this command they have already i mean whatever the parameters we have set it's already updated now i will just put this push docker push cool so it's they started pushing the image it will take maybe one or two minutes to push this or maybe even less than that push this image onto artifact registry okay uh if we refresh after that then we will get to know whether it is updated or not still it's pushing the data i mean let's just wait for a uh, few minutes okay uh in parallel uh, what we are gonna do uh once we get the image here in the gcp artifact registry we are going to run this image over cloud run okay so i will just search cloud run service here this is here and uh, these are some services i have created earlier here we have to simply create a service uh, and just select the uh, image from artifact registry okay let's just see whether it is pushed or not okay uh, okay cool so it's pushed now let's just refresh this uh, our repository test repository okay yes you can see it's here docker image is created here youtube test cool uh now i will just go to cloud run i will simply create create service select your image uh it's it would be from artifact registry uh us east one youtube test select select okay uh rest of the things you can keep it by def as as default and just i'm keeping like allow uh unauthenticated invocation uh you can uh, handle whatever you can change any settings if you want to i will just click create cool so what is happening here uh they have kept uh, uh pushed i mean whatever the image we have posted in the artifact registry they are just uh, building that image into cloud run and yeah you can see that it is already built now let's just refresh one time and uh, if you see green here that means it's built and this is our url just i will copy and i will put here and click enter cool see you can see hello there and we can also try our test api slash test okay so you can see this is a get test get api so it's very simple and very it's a future like it's a, it's a serverless uh, like simply we have built the node.js application we have uh, built a docker image we have pushed it into artifact registry and we are running it on the cloud run it can be anything it can be react application your monstack application even if you are your python application anything you can run on cloud run and uh, this is the url which which we got it's so helpful and uh it's really great to deploy this application like uh like in a serverless way so i hope guys that that's very helpful for you guys and uh, thank you so much
hope you like this video just like the video and hit the subscribe button thank you guys thank you so much see ya